Howdy, I can hello H2O's, Roller Bros, and Ray Hearts alike. I'm your guide Q, and welcome back to our second edition of r slash I'm a total piece of poop. If you didn't see the first video, or if whatever, it's, this is like trashy on PCP. It's freaking insane what goes down in this subreddit. Like, you're gonna be legitimately angry by the end of this video, but hopefully we can all collect ourselves, and it can be an inspiration for us to be better people out there. So let's get right into it. With the woman you see on your screen right now. This idiot mom filmed herself waterboarding her sleeping infant as payback for waking her up at night. I almost take offense to the fact that they called her an idiot mom instead of like, abusive mom, because this is an absolutely scum of the earth thing to do to your child. You're torturing your kid for something as petty as doing what infants do, which is crying in the middle of the night. But, I do think we are kind of fortunate, the day and age that we live in, that stupid people like this, I mean she is an idiot, filmed herself doing it so that there can be immediate repercussions for these actions, like I'm so glad that people are dumb enough to record themselves doing this stuff. If you happen to be the person who took my purse from the card in Lowe's parking lot this morning, I would be extremely grateful if you would simply keep the money in my wallet and return the purse and all that was in it, especially my phone. You could drop it off at Lowe's and the money could be your reward. My phone has text messages that are precious to me. Conversations between my son and me, he was killed three years ago. And there are many pictures of him that are not found anywhere else. The purse was a Christmas present from him and his girlfriend three years ago. Okay, can I just talk about how much of a saint this woman is? Like, how, ugh. This is why I feel like stealing is so immoral. Because you might come out and be like, hey man, he didn't know how important the stuff within that purse is for that person. But like, yeah, that could literally be anybody. Like, anybody that you're stealing from something from, that item could be of grave importance to them. And the fact that she was willing to be like, hey, you can take take all of the money, just please let me get this purse and the phone back. It really shows how good of a person she is and just how much of an impact you can make on somebody negatively by taking any of their items. Homeless white people get no money from me, how you fumble that white privilege bag. Bro, I was disgusted to see, I looked this up on Twitter, I found the tweet, and only one person was questioning this statement whatsoever in the replies. It's almost like being born into poverty, a broken home, drug addicted parents, or horrendous mental illness doesn't discriminate based on what race you are. Sure, I think, I do think that white people have advantages, but it doesn't make them immune to stuff like this. This one is absolutely disgusting, this, uh, cop is pepper spraying a child in the bay like it doesn't seem like this child is even the slightest threat to this officer right now she's literally just holding her mother's hand not even facing him and yet he's doing this like what possible explanation on earth could there be for this like I am totally in the camp of cops serve a super important role in our society and their job is very difficult and dangerous but if cops like this were fired immediately and made an example of our police force would be in much better shape if this is happening in the United States. I'm not even sure. But regardless of where this is, a cop like this should be fired and put in fucking jail. This is a picture that Ashton Kutcher took of a paparazzi guy that was trying to take pictures of his two-year-old at daycare. Like, how is this not illegal? Can we establish some age where a kid is not allowed to have pictures taken of them in public? I know that if you're in public, you technically have no right to privacy, but can't we make an exception for tiny kids? And honestly, if you've got friends and family that are so obsessed with the children of celebrities that they support the publications that do this sort of stuff, tell them to get their lives together, because that's what keeps this stuff happening. Today I witnessed men waiting for haircuts and a man giving free haircuts on Pleasant Valley in Riverside. Haircuts equal cosmetology equal regulated in Texas, right? There's something amiss here, but I can't put my finger on it. ATX at TLDR license, is this okay? Hashtag homeless. Translation, this woman is trying to get this man arrested for giving away free haircuts like he's somehow trying to run a business under the table even though he's giving away stuff for free. 
I actually commented on this because I saw it out in the wild on Twitter, and she ended up deleting this tweet, and it seems like she's just some sort of frickin' citizen police officer out there in the streets just reporting people left and right for random stuff and trying to get Twitter famous off of people's rage because of how petty she is. I said this on Twitter, and I'll say it again. This is like a reporting a lemonade stand to the police, except instead of charging 25 cents, they're giving it away for free, and instead of lemonade, they're giving away haircuts which could one just make a person happier you know they're more comfortable they're more satisfied with the way that they look and two make them more able to like get a job because they can be more presentable in an interview like I don't know what's wrong with this woman but she needs to get it together it was the mugshot that made national headlines a drunk driver smiling for the camera after crashing and killing a Sarasota woman Thursday there were no smiles as she learned her court fate well guess who's smiling and I laughed up a storm when I fucking saw this woman's crying face in court. The woman on the left looks like somebody who thinks that they're not going to be held responsible for their actions and the woman on the right is getting the brutal force of reality shoved in her fucking face. Like, ugh, this just disgusts me so much and I hope this sets an example for fucking everybody else out there that thinks this is acceptable. Sorry if I sound like an asshole, but honestly, I have no remorse for this woman. I mean, she's upset. Imagine how upset the family of this Sarah Soda woman must be. Alright, taking it down a notch with something slightly less infuriating, but still infuriating nonetheless. During the Beijing Olympics, a nine-year-old girl who sang a patriotic song at the opening ceremony was revealed to be lip-syncing. The real singer was a seven-year-old girl who was kept backstage because she was considered not good-looking enough and that might have damaged China's image. Like, what? Like, are you serious? What? <laughs> I really hope they did some better job of explaining this situation to the girl who was actually singing. And what are they explaining to the girl who's not singing? Hey, you're cute. Go pretend to sing out there. And newsflash to the little nine-year-old girl that was actually singing. You're not ugly or anything. Come to the United States. We will appreciate your talent over here. Absolutely no shade towards the Chinese people, but 100% shade towards the Chinese government in this situation. All right, this guy pulls a switch switcheroo on hair dyes. He switches out a brown hair dye with a blonde hair dye, totally ruining somebody's day, week, month. They have to spend extra money on hair dye. They have to get it out. I mean, imagine wanting brunette hair and then getting blonde hair instead. Look at the stupid look on this idiot's face. I hope you're proud of yourself for not having achieved anything in your normal life, not being fulfilled whatsoever, and just having to do something like this to feel like you can have any impact on the world. All right, this is uh, Christine Sedelko. For some reason, they blurred out the names. I didn't think they usually blurred out the names of public figures on Reddit, but it's her. I appreciate her comedy and stuff like that. I actually think she's really funny, which makes it all that more disappointing that she did this. On the right, she makes a statement about bullying that she's received. I know I always try to clap back and seem unaffected by fat comments, but being criticized slash harassed slash judged online for my weight every single day is genuinely the worst thing I've ever gone gone through and I almost let it ruin my entire life. Then on the le left is a Snapchat story she posted. That is a full grown balding ass man wearing a backpack. How do you know that this man's balding head I'm, I'm sure he's not bothered by wearing a backpack that's a utilitarian item he doesn't care what you think about that but maybe he's bothered by the fact that he's bald. Maybe that's a bummer for him and you're pointing it out to your hundreds of thousands of followers. I only found out about this recently. I guess it happened back at the beginning of 2018. She did receive some criticism for it. I can't find anything where she was like, hey, I apologize. This is actually pretty hypocritical of me to say that. So, I mean, don't send her any hate. I hope that maybe she's learned her lesson in silence. But, like, dude, we expect better of you. If you've been bullied, harassed, you should know that, like, this sort of shit is not cool. Because you're just, you're just continuing the cycle of bullying, and that's bad. All right, so USPS delivered five quarts of oil to this person's house with a little sticker on it that said, sorry your package was damaged. Like, how about sorry we almost arsoned your home? Like, legitimately, this isn't something where you just say, oh, you USPS. Like, you could legitimately sue them for a lot of money over this, I'm sure. Also, can we retrospectively add alleged to everything I just said? Because this is just a Reddit post. I'm not sure of the facts. I don't want to get sued by the US Postal Service. 
What's the craziest thing you've ever done to your man? I burnt and bleached his clothes when he got home, beat his ass, and threw my mirror at the back of his head. I stabbed my ex. I elbowed my ex in the face during sex on purpose, but said it wasn't. We aren't together anymore, but I slapped him dead in his face real hard because he got me mad once. I hit my baby daddy in the head with my son's car seat and bust his nose and lips, LMAO, -O 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 -O, and choked him out and dragged him out of my room. Alright, time to pray to every known deity on earth that this is satire because, oh my god, one, what is this? This is some group because it said this person is a new member. So, what is this, like venting about a spousal abuse group? And not people venting about having experienced it, people venting about having dished it out. Like, you guys must have the most restrained boyfriends and husbands on the planet that they didn't retaliate on these horrendous actions. <sighs> okay, let's all just calm down and look at this video of a chip bag being opened and a cat coming out of it. The world is not all bad, everything is going to be alright. This is a small segment of society we're looking at in these videos. Guys, I think I said this in a trashy video recently or something, but like, hey, do something little for somebody in your life or some stranger or something. Try and spread positive vibes or whatever you want to call them out there. Just do, do good stuff to people. Be nice. Don't be anything that you've seen in this video today. I hope you guys are all doing very well skating onto the best of your abilities and I'll see you very soon. Peace. Oh my god, I almost forgot to tell you guys to drink more water. Drink more water, ingest H2O, please.